Bam! Yeah. I, I come from the United States. I've been in Europe now since 2001 uh, coaching. Uh, let's see. I started playing football when I was uh, nine years old in the backyard. I started playing organized ball when I was 12 years old and played football until I was 24 years old. I've coached at Bowling Green State University. I've been a head coach now since I've come to Europe in 2001. Um, just love the game and and, and the, uh, the original plan was uh, um, I c would come over here for one year I you know after Bowling Green and you know kind of see Europe coach football and then go back but well, <laughs> I'm still here, and it just became a love affair. I mean, I, I, I like living here in Europe. I, I really like the passion that players have about the game in Europe. Um, there's a lot more teaching that goes in to what I do here in comparison to what I would be doing in the United States. And, and that's, a, that's, a, that's a whole, that's just a very big selling point for me because I'm a lot happier doing what I do in Europe than if I were in the United States doing it. So I'm here. First, uh, my first uh, three seasons here, uh, what I was doing was I was coaching in Austria and then I went back to the United States at my old high school and, and coached there. Then I came back and went to Finland went back for the American football season at my old high school and that that was a real that was a lot of fun to do I mean you know I was coaching year-round which can get a little stressful because you do need to have a break from this game there's you know there's a lot of time and a lot of effort that goes into preparing a team and getting ready for games but uh, you know that was something I wanted to do and uh, you know I was able to be at Lake Forest for three seasons and you know I was coaching with guys that I had played football with in high school and the whole staff we knew each other from our playing days and it was just a lot of fun that you know and, and we were successful we were able to bring that program back and you know Freddie Johnson is still there he's now the athletic director and you know we're doing good the old high school is doing good now in comparing where I've been I've been in Finland Austria and Germany uh, comparing the the Angels to the teams I've been at. Uh, this is very similar to the program that you know I took over it when I was in Austria, the Gladiators. They were in their third season. This club is in their third season, but this club is it's apples and oranges in comparison at the moment because of the type of teams they were. The team I had in Austria was a bigger, stronger, slower team. Whereas this team is just as strong, but they're not as big, but they're a lot faster. Just doing things differently and, and doing different football systems, you know, to make this team successful. Uh, comparison to Germany, this is, this is definitely a, a, a Division Four club if they were in um, Germany and if they had the imports that the Germans bring in you know this could be a, a low-level division three club uh, as far as Finland well I was in the Maple League there so you know that's the highest division that's the top Liga that you have in Poland so you know we're, we're not quite there yet but you know uh, hopefully in two three more seasons you know we'll be knocking on that door to where you know we can start playing you know high division one levels top league in Poland. We've got a lot of good talent you know but like a lot of the PLFA2 teams uh, we're young and we lack an experience. Of all the film I've seen and I've seen a lot of film of the PLFA2 teams you know th there's a lot of mistakes that happen during the game that are just comes from experience and the more experience we get you know uh, the more discipline that we instill in what we're doing as a team we will eliminate those penalties just getting rid of our penalties and mistakes could put us into the PLFA 1 you get into the PLFA 1 then they're bringing in imports whether it's from other European countries or they bring in American imports that that just takes money so this is a uh, this is a step by step thing that you know we need to do. We need to make sure that we have our football team athletically sound and we're doing the things proper. We need to get our uh, youth programs really going 
so that you know we are pl that we have 30 35 40 youths yugans playing in our programs so that they now become when they're 19, 20 years old, they then step up into the senior club. And this is just all part of the process of developing. You have to realize this is only our third season as a club. Let's see, let's, let's see where this club is after I've been here three or four or five seasons. I cannot begin to tell you how impressed I am and always have been impressed by the Polish athletes. I mean, all you have to do is look at, at Olympics. While Poland may not have a lot of gold, silver, or bronze medalists, the number of poles that finish in fourth or fifth or in that top sixth place is amazing. Uh, I mean, uh, there are poles that have played in the PLFA that are now going to Germany and the German leagues are hiring them to play for the GFL. There are such good athletes here and I cannot wait to really start teaching the techniques this team is a perfect example of it. We're fast, we're good athletes, we're strong, we're not the biggest. But there's an old saying in the United States, speed kills. This team has speed. So uh, that's just how American football in Poland is. A lot of good athletes who are playing uh, a great game and Within five, really, within five years, Poland should be right at the top of the national teams. The goals for this year are pretty simple. We make the playoffs. Once we, once we make the playoffs, then we have as good a chance as any team to win the PLFA too. But we first have to get to the playoffs. And because of the limited schedule and how the PLFA 2 is set up, every game is important. We missed the playoffs last year by one game. That was a four and two season in the regular season. We're gonna have to go five and one this year, possibly six and zero oh, to get into the playoffs. The last thing I'd like to say is I have never been in a place, and I've been in three different European countries, I have never been in a place where I felt so welcome and so at home. And I couldn't have been luckier in uh, being hired by this club and I am really looking forward to being here a long time. Okay. I gotta get to work. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yes, I do 